Hey guys, it's Alex. I'm really excited to be doing another video for you today. What I'll be walking you through is a DIY basket wall. My own personal taste really is more of that mid-century modern Scandinavian style, um, and then I mix in a few modern farmhouse elements. So one thing that I really love to do is like a gallery photo wall, but one of the troubles I'm running into is when you start doing that in every single room, sometimes it can be too much. So I'm always thinking about new ways to add something to the room without it always having to be like a collage of photos. So one of the things I've seen online is actually taking like woven baskets and doing kind of a collage of baskets on the wall. So what I've been doing the past few months whenever I'm going to thrift stores to purchase stuff from my Etsy shop I've been kind of collecting little baskets along the way to do one of these basket walls. So as you can see behind me I do have like a tall dresser uh, and then a low dresser and then over here on this wall there's not a whole lot going on to balance it all out. So so that's kind of the area I'm really looking to do my basket wall. What you'll need to do your basket wall are some finishing nails. These ones I think I just got in like a, a furniture pack or something. Um, I know you can purchase them just in a box from Home Depot. Next you'll also need a hammer. And then last but not least our baskets. So all of these, like I said, I got at Value Village. Um, I do still have the price tags on most of them. Usually they're only about one to two dollars at the thrift store. Um, and then you find like lots of different designs. These two are actually the same, which was nice. I got them as a set. Even you'll find like some different ones, like this one has the different sections. Um, I think that's going to be cool on the wall. And then as well, I do have something more like this, which is a little bit deeper. You don't wanna get every basket that's this deep, but it's kind of nice to play with the articulation of the different sizes of baskets. So I would recommend just keeping your eye out and finding some unique ones to add some depth to your basket wall. So as I mentioned before, this is the area I'm working with. So on the far side, I do have my tall dresser. It takes up the majority of that wall over there. And then over here, it's just a little bare. It's kind of an odd spot to do like a painting or a couple of frames. So that's where I thought the basket wall would really work to frame in and finish off this area. So what I've done is I've just laid my baskets down on the floor to kind of get a feel uh, for what shape I wanted to work with. From there, I'm just actually going to hold them up to the wall and just see spatially if what I'm thinking kind of makes sense. Now that I'm pretty happy with the placement and kind of a general idea of where I want my baskets to be, I am gonna take the hammer and the finishing nails and just go ahead and hammer them into the wall. If you are somebody who's really particular about where your baskets end up, what I would recommend is actually cutting out a piece of paper uh, to the size of each basket and taping those up on the wall to make sure you're happy with where they're going. Myself, I'm happy to just play around with the placement. I'm not too fussy about it, I'm not too finicky about it. I know that this is kind of more of like a boho type concept. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start hammering my baskets in. <music> my DIY basket wall. It was actually super helpful to have my phone recording as I was doing this so I could look at the wall while I was putting things up to kind of see where I wanted them put. From there I really just tried to vary the different shades of rattan so I do have some dark ones that I tried to scatter throughout and then mix the lighter tones in there with it and then of course because I did have two really similar baskets I tried to separate them so it still goes together and they still match 
match, uh, but they're further enough apart that I don't have two identical ones side by side. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun putting this up finally. I've had these baskets in stored for probably like four months now, so I'm really excited to have finally finished my basket wall. And if this is something you wanna do, it's really inexpensive. Just keep an eye out when you are going to thrift stores and garage sales. The little baskets that are only worth like a dollar to 50 cents um, can actually make a big impact when you group them together and do something fun on the wall like that. Stay tuned, I will be featuring this on my blog. You can check that out on my website alexandriaparis.ca and I will be doing a few posts on my Instagram so be sure to follow me there Alexandria Paris underscore and if you haven't already please like share and comment on this video and give my YouTube channel a subscribe as well thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time